David Barnson is with us. Uh, the president acknowledges that energy price inflation is going to stay with us. As an investor, how do you deal with inflation? Well, there's a couple things. When you talk about the energy side, as you know, we're invested in the energy space. Yep. And, and that price inflation is not coming out of nowhere with energy. It's completely supply related and we have control over our domestic production. He wants less production, therefore he wants higher prices. Hmm. That's economics 101. But when you talk about the price inflation we're seeing through other parts of the economy, largely driven by various supply chain disruptions that are talked about ad nauseum, labor shortages, other issues like that, some of which I'm happy to find political fault, some of which candidly are probably not. But the point is prices go higher. And investors and consumers don't have time to care about why they're going higher they need to react. And this is where I talk about dividend growth all the time as this sort of evergreen solution because the prices that are going higher are reflected in the company you own. Hmm. If they have proper pricing power, they have the ability to pass on the impact of that inflation to their customers. Hmm. We saw that this week. There's a company, Procter Gamble, that we've owned forever. Yeah. They're, they're reflecting the prices as they pass it on to customers, which is their, their economic response to what's going on. Okay. But I'm talking about the investor return, Stuart, the thing that you care about yep. and so many of the viewers care about. The dividend rate growing year over year at a higher rate than inflation hmm. neutralizes that impact to yep. you. You Got now it. have the ability to receive cash flow growing more than the prices are. Will Pepsi's dividend do that for me? Pepsi's grown their dividend since 1995 by 10.5% per year. Hmm. So di di Pepsi is a great example of pricing power with consumer products that people buy all the time, and they grow that dividend on average almost double digits a year. And you've also picked out Walgreens. Do they also do the same thing? Yeah, Walgreens has grown their dividend now for almost 50 years, every year for 50 years. The average growth rate of dividend is about 7% per year. So again, well higher than inflation. And you're getting a 4% yield at purchase right now. So those are two good examples of that dividend growth, Stuart. Very good. David, thanks for being with us. Very good information. We appreciate it always. Thanks, Mr. Bonson. Yes, sir.